Well, good evening, folks. This is Ben, K4ZEP from the world's smallest lab. I want to show you day two of my testing of the pickle motor. This was my second charging of the battery, of this battery here. Last night I charged it for six hours initially at two amps constant current from a power supply. I did that from 11 in the morning till 5 or 6, 11 in the evening till 5 or 6 in the morning. And when I woke up, I then put the Bedini Renaissance charger on. And then I got this charge curve uh, until the charger uh, peaked the battery at about 15.6 volts. And then it shut off and dropped back down to about 12 and a half volts over there at the very bottom. Then I went and put it on a discharge at 5 amps. Let me uh, call up that chart. I put it on a discharge at 5 amps. And that's the wrong one. Let's go back here. Open discharge. I believe that's it. There it is. Five amps uh, on this same charge, and this is the curve I got. And I discharged it to eight volts, and it came out a total of approximately 29.9 .9 ampere hours. That was a discharge. Over here, it started off at 12. Point three. That was the resting voltage after that other charge curve that you saw. The charge curve is pretty good here until about 25 ampere hours, and then you could see the uh, the voltage dropped rapidly on the battery down to 8 volts, where it turned off. So it came up uh, approximately 30 percent from the first charge discharge. We only had about 20, 22 ampere hours the first time around. And so tonight again, I'm going to restart this whole thing, charge the battery. I think I'll charge it a little bit longer on the straight 2 amp constant current. Uh, I believe it would be called the plate forming charge. And uh, in the morning, it's now 9 o'clock of the night, I'm going to charge it till 7 or 8 in the morning at 2 amps. And then I'll put the Bedini on to to, uh, to pulse and top the battery off and then we'll do another charge discharge tomorrow night. So that's where we are and uh, keeping track of and working on big batteries and uh, keeping track of that is time consuming at best but uh, the pickle battery works and to uh, according it doesn't hurt it to uh, drop it down to uh, uh, 8 volts. It discharged and quit at 8 volts. Let's see what it is now. We'll, we'll set it up to charge a new a new a new uh, let's see, a new test. A new test. We want to do a new test which will be a no, we want to do a new document. I can never remember this. A uh, new we want to do a new charge monitor test and I'm going to bring the voltage down to um, uh, let's take the voltage up to um, uh, 17 volts maximum we're setting up the screen here the cutoff voltage we don't have to just put it lower than what it is now or it'll stop immediately I'll take it down to zero we're going to monitor the charge and the maximum time is we're going to put in 24 hours of monitoring uh, here. And we'll be monitoring it by the minute. And right now the voltage on the battery has bounced back from 8.5 up to 9.71 volts here. Uh, that's the standing voltage right now with it being discharged to 8 volts. So, turn on the power supply. Whoops. Turn on the power supply. Hook the negative to the negative. The supply is set up for 2 amps constant current. Positive. And let us start the test. 
Oh, I gotta put a name in there. Charge three. I'll just put C3. I know that's the third charge. Start, it's already up to 9.95, 9.96, 9.97. .9 and it will show up here as, as the night progresses. The constant current charge on this battery will show up as a fairly flat, slowly climbing line. Just uh, very linear, but that's it. So it's up to 10.03 volts already. It's coming back up now quickly. And uh, let's form those plates overnight. And in the morning, I'll put it on the bedini. Tomorrow night, I'll re-download this, and we'll see what's doing. See if we get any more capacity. Now, I'm very, very excited getting almost 30 amperes out of this battery. So right, right now, that's about 50% of what the uh, full-blown lead-acid battery was when it was peaked out. So this is K4ZEP, and I'm saying good night, y'all.